morning, OJR. I'm Nick Galdi, and today is March 9th, 2018. Ah, this is delicious. The water of civilized people. And we would like to apologize for last week's inconvenience of the Power Report not playing in some advisories. Yes, and we would also like to apologize for the lacking quality of some anchors. Daylight savings time is a century-old practice in the U.S., centered on making better use of the day's light by shifting an hour of daylight from the morning to the evening. This weekend, daylight savings time begins on Sunday, March 11, 2018 at 2 a.m. Remember to set your clocks an hour ahead. This past weekend, the annual mini-thon was held at the high school in order to raise money to find a cure for childhood cancer. The event included plenty of fun events and entertainment for the participants. The night was a huge success with over 450 students in attendance and over $40,000 being raised through donations. Today, we are introducing the new safety magnets that have been placed on every door frame in the classroom. Magnets are to be placed over the strike plate on the door frame. This way, the door handle can be kept locked at all times, and as long as the magnet is over the strike plate, the door can be easily opened from either side to allow the traffic flow of students without classroom interruption. In the case of an emergency, slide the magnet out of the way this way, teachers will not have to fumble with keys to lock an unlocked door in the case of an emergency. Anyone caught removing these magnets will face disciplinary actions. If you have any questions, feel free to ask Officer Matthias or a teacher. Tickets for this year's prom are on sale now. Tickets are $75 per person and can be purchased during advisory in Ms. McMahon's room 148 and during all lunches. Waiver forms are required to purchase a ticket and can be also picked up outside room 148 and room 1130. Attention prom goers, are you going to prom but don't have any formal attire? Well look no further than the prom closet in room 1104. They have an extensive variety of dresses, suits, shoes, and accessories guaranteed to make you look stunning. No money, no worries, the clothing is free and all transactions are confidential. Have old pet items and want to clean out your house? Want to help your local animal shelters? Animal Studies is holding a pet supply drive for the SPCA. You can donate old towels, sheets, cages, food, water bowls, new toys, and other pet supplies. You can drop off donations in the lobby or in the Animal Studies room. Donations are being accepted through March 16th. This past weekend, the OJR Boys Wrestling Team competed in the Southeast AAA Regional Tournament. Congratulations to the following wrestlers who came away with medals in their respective weight classes. Dan Mancini took first, Antonio Petroselli took second, Jason Zalers took fourth, and Connor Quinn took fifth, passing all through to the state tournament in Hershey this weekend. Make sure to congratulate these wrestlers and wish them good luck on their performance at states. Also congratulations to the high school swimmers who competed at the District 1 Swimming Championships this past weekend at LaSalle University. Michaela Ninnis set a new team record in the 50 freestyle, finishing in fifth place at the meet, and teamed up with Lilia Crew, Madison Gedzicki, and Abby Malmstrom to set a new team record in the 200 freestyle relay, finishing in sixth place. The same four also finished in eighth place in the 200 medley relay. Meredith Mutter lowered her own team record in the 100 breaststroke, finishing in tenth place. Each of these swimmers earned a trip to the PIAA State Swimming Championships held at Bucknell University next week. John McDevick is back at it with his wild antics, and today he has some great tips on how to lighten the load in your backpack. Take a peek. Hey, underclassmen, is your book bag too heavy? Are you tired of the straps constantly dislocating your shoulders? Hi, I'm John the Wonton Juan John John Johnson, here to show you guys how to lighten your load. For starters, empty any extra books and papers from your bag. Doing this will not only make your bag lighter, but cleaner as well. Next, you can remove all officially licensed PowerPort merchandise. Keep that important stuff safe at home. Now here's a neat little tip. If you leave your brick collection at home, you can squeeze a couple more pounds off that heavy sack. Finally, you'd be surprised just how much book bag fabric can weigh. Do you know what doesn't weigh a lot? Ashes. So using the power of fire, we can convert that heavy, massive bag into a handful of light powder. Jeepers, would you feel that difference? Back pain, be gone. This has been another helpful video from John the Huanton John John Johnson. Take it easy, OJR. Wow, John, I definitely won't be doing any of those. 
another great show, but next week, next week we're back to our second rate store brand mediocre anchors. Have a good weekend, OJR. Let's hope Sydney learns how to talk. <laughs> <laughs>